to everybody. I guess you might be able to work out what this story is about from looking at the picture. Can you see the wolves? Let's count them. One, two, three. So today's story is the three little wolves and the bid big bad pig. Once upon a time there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was grey and the third was white. One day the mother called the three little wolves round her and said, my children, it's time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, mother, we will watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and they set off. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, will you give us some of your bricks after? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of yellow and red bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and locked the door. The pig knocked on the door and grunted, Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I will huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. The three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled and they were very frightened indeed. We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy slurry concrete. So the three wolves, wolves built themselves a house of concrete. That's going to be nice and strong, isn't it, children? No sooner had they finished, then the big bad wolf came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the wolves had built. They were playing battledore and shuttlecock in the garden and when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house and shut the door. The pig rang the bell and said, Little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves, by the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the house didn't fall down. What do you think he's going to do? That big bad pig. Let's find out. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his pneumatic drill and he smashed the house down. The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling. We shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then, 
they saw a lorry coming along the road, carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armour plates and heavy metal padlocks. Please will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars and armour plates and some heavy metal padlocks, said the, said, they said to the rhinoceros who was driving the lorry. Sure, said the rhinoceros and gave them plenty of barbed wire, armour plates and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt very relaxed and absolutely safe. It looks like a safe house, doesn't it? The next day, guess who came? The big bad pig came prowling along the road as usual. The little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house, bolted the door and locked all of the 67 padlocks. The pig pressed the video entrance phone and said, Frightened little wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought some dynamite. He laid it against the house, lit the fuse and... <gasps> Can you see, children? The house blew up. The little wolves just managed to escape without their fluffy tails scorched. Can you see them running away? <gasps> just in time. Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different. But what? Hmm. At that moment, they saw, what can you see? Can you see the bird? They saw a flamingo bird coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers? asked the little wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo bird, and gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. Do you think the big bad pig's going to come along again? Let's find out. One was of marigold. One wall was of marigolds. One wall of daffodils. One wall of pink roses. And one wall of cherry blossom. The ceiling was made of sunflowers, and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in their fridge. It was a rather fragile house and it swayed in the wind, but it was very beautiful. Next day, the big bad wolf, big bad pig, sorry, came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the little wolves had built. He rang the bluebell and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of the flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent took his breath away, the pig took another breath and then another. Instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant scent. His heart became tender and he realised how horrible he had been in the past. In other words, he became a big good pig. He started to sing and to dance the tarantella. Can you see him dancing in the garden?
At first, the three little wolves were a bit worried, thinking that it might be a trick. But soon they realised that the pig had truly changed. So they came running out of the house. They introduced themselves and started playing games with him. First they played Pig Pog and then Piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. They offered him china tea and strawberries and wolfberries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily together ever after. So that's a bit of a different story, isn't it, from the one that we know. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.